What's up, family? It's your boy, and I got another great video for you today. So I want you to sit back, relax, and we're going to expose some wickedness today. There's some people watching this video, a lot of you guys, and you're being used because you don't have spiritual discernment. God has tried to show you these things through your dreams. Job 33 says that he speaks to man once, twice, when deep sleep falls upon man, but man perceives it not. A lot of you are being used by wicked people and their lives are being enriched because of you. And we have an example in the Bible of this very thing. So I want you to turn to the book of Genesis chapter 30 and I'm going to read verse 20. Let me see here. Verse 20. Five, I think. Hold on one second, man. Let me get this verse for you guys. Y'all gonna be blown away by this. Okay, here we go. Verse 27, my bad. Verse 27. This is Jacob and Laban. Jacob, we all know the story of Jacob. Um, he worked for Laban for a total of 14 years for Rachel and Leah. Okay. But here's what verse 27 reads out of chapter 30. It says, but Laban said unto him, Jacob, if I have found favor in your eyes, please stay. His oppressor wants him to stay. He says, I have learned by divination that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Divination is the practice of witchcraft. He has learned through divination that the Lord God has blessed him because of Jacob. So he's asking and pleading with him to stay. He added, name your wages and I will pay them. So now he's given a proposition to Jacob, he's saying, listen, I found out that the reason I'm being blessed is because of divination. Through divination, I found out that you are the reason that I am being blessed. See, a lot of you, your people are in your lives that don't need to be because they know who you are. Problem is, you don't know who you are. That's the problem. And because you don't know who you are, they're taking advantage of you. Now, Laban had the balls to go ahead and tell Jacob, listen, man, I found out through divination, through witchcraft, through magic arts. I found out that your star is bright. I found out that that God favors you. And because God favors you, I'm benefiting from that. And I don't want you to leave. So name your wages. I'll pay you whatever it is you want to be paid. Now, here's the thing. He must be getting blessed, like, to the fullest extent, because he's saying, name your wages. No matter what he pays Jacob, the fact that God is with Jacob, he knows that he is going to prosper. See, people know that if you're in their life, they are going to prosper. He found all of this out through divination. He went and inquired of Jacob. He said, who is this man? Who is Jacob? He showed up to my house. He showed up to my to my tribe, to my village, and he he worked for me. And now everything that I have is increased because of him. So now I want to make sure that he stays on my plantation. I want to make sure that he stays under my control. He went to inquire. He went to find out who this man was and is. He did it through divination. There's people out there who know who you are through divination. They went to witch doctors. They went to Sangomas. They, they went to uh, root workers. All these people are the same. And they looked into that little evil demonic crystal ball with familiar spirits, and monitoring spirits. And they have found out that you are favored by God. They have found out that your star is bright. And because of that, they want to attach themselves to you. These are the people that secretly they hate you, but they need you around. They hate you. 
they hate you. And the, and the proof that they hate you is that they know something about you through divination. And they're hoping that you never become aware of it. So they can keep, they can keep stealing and taking from you. This is their goal. This is what they want to do. They've sought you out through divination because they've noticed there is something different about you. A lot of times, you guys got to really understand this. Your blessings, your star, all of this can be extracted through sex. Through sex, they're taking from you. Because they know through divination that every time they sleep with you, that they are being enriched with your star and your blessings. You are covenanting with them. Now, in the case of Jacob and Laban, they weren't having sex, but he knew through divination that Jacob was favored by God. And he continued to wage war on Jacob to keep him bound. See, your oppressor never wants you to leave. He says, listen, I pay you whatever you want to be paid, man. Just stay, just stay with me so I can continue to be blessed. I'm blessed because you, every time Jacob tried to leave, Laban tried to stop him. Laban changed his wages 10 times. He was a crook. He was stealing. He was a thief. He was trying to take Jacob's destiny. He was going to use Jacob till he could not be used anymore. A lot of people in your life are using you. The woman in your life, she's using you. The man in your life, using you. Through divination, they understand who you are. You don't know who you are. Why? Because you're too busy being nice instead of being spiritual. You're busy being nice instead of being spiritual. God has shown you over. The same person keeps popping up in your dreams over and over and over and over again. God is showing you, but you still, you still, you still dealing with them. You haven't cut them out of your life. You're still entertaining them. And the only thing they're doing is monitoring you, scheming on you, enchanting Wicked things about you, sending spells, curses, and hexes your way, and you continue to engage them because you have a soft part, a soft, a soft spot in your heart for them. When they're out to kill you, they're out to take you, to destroy you. The Bible says that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. This person is out to destroy you, bro. This person is out to destroy you, sis. God has shown you what the situation was, but guess what? You're not being spiritual. You're being nice. You're being naive when they're operating on a level spiritually much higher than you. But God is still giving you grace by visiting you in the dream world. See, the dream world is where God communicates. When you, when you fall down and you lay your head on that pillow to go to sleep, God is communicating with you. Your spirit is taking in information from God and transmitting that information through your soul, through images and things that you can understand so that you can have the message, so you can have your instructions when you wake up. And God has been showing you, and guess what? You've been ignoring the message. You've been chalking it up to it just being a dream. I'm telling you. You will never break free until you identify who these people are and you cut them off. You follow God's instructions to cut them off. There's some people in my life I had to cut off. I had to let them go. It is what it is, man. I, I, you know, it was fun while it lasted. But I can't ignore the voice of God. I know you know what my story is. I know you know that I'm favored by God, and I know that you want me around for your own selfish gain, but you're wicked. You're wicked, and I can't let you benefit off of me any longer. And I'm taking back everything you stole from me. I'm claiming it all back. When the thief is found out, he must return sevenfold that which he stole, even if it means giving up all the substance in his house. We're taking it back. But you got to stop being naive. You have to open up your eyes and take heed to what God is saying. I hope you got value out of this message, man. I'm going to holler at you. Peace.